What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about hop-up units. We're going to disassemble hop-up unit and talk about some of the best parts to use. Let's get right into it. So you, it's very important that you make sure you have a proper sized screwdriver, Phillips head, to undo these two screws. If you strip them, that's not good. So you really want to make sure that you, ha you have the proper size because you should have to apply quite a lot of force to get them undone if you have them loctited in which I thoroughly recommend because all the vibrations from shooting uh, your high kappa will cause the screws to back out slowly. And then when they get to the end, they'll strip. And you really don't want that. It's a whole mess. You'll have, you might even have to buy a new hop-up unit depending on how much damage it causes. Okay, so we just got these two screws out and now we're going to lift the face of the hop-up unit off. You can see there's a seam here and I'm just going to use a flathead in the seam here. Boom. Just like that. And now it comes into two pieces. This is the front piece. Nothing on it. Pretty blank. And then you have your hop-up arm. Airsoft Masterpiece 1 is what I'm using here. You have your C-clamp, your bucking, your barrel, the other half of the shell, and your hop-up wheel. There's also a rubber washer here. It's very important that you keep that in good condition um, because that's what tensions your hop-up unit and stops it from spinning back to no hop whenever BBs go through. So you, you, want, you, you want that BB, you want that, um, a little rubber o-ring washer to stay in good condition okay let's uh let's uh let me take this off and i'll show you how to get it back on this is the c-clamp oh don't get stuck under your fingernail like that's kind of painful okay Here's the C-clamp. Here's your bucking. Just uh, pull it off nice and slowly. There you go. It's and gentle. So here's your barrel. I like the nine ball power barrel, my favorite. And uh, this is a maple leaf. I believe this is a Decepticon. So uh, let's reassemble now, show you how that's done. Uh, this little nub is gonna go, is gonna face down, and the window in your barrel is gonna face right up. And I'm putting it in backwards, that's why. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, nub facing down, window facing um, perpendicular to it, so this way. And it should just slide right on, and then it will sit flat. Just like that. Nice. Okay. And then you can uh, give it a little bit of spin. See if it locks in and settles. Make sure that it's in properly because you want the best air seal you can get. Press it. Make sure it's on there. Okay. And then this little C-clamp. Don't bend this. Don't do anything egregious to it. Just put it on nice and gently. Don't pinch your bucking <laughs> like I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Bucking's on nicely. All right. And then the little nub, there's a little slot right in the hop-up unit right here. Okay. And this nub on your bucking goes right down into that slot. And um, you can make sure that that's down in there properly. There you go. This little wheel comes off and on, Airsoft Masterpiece wheel. Just make sure it's on. You want the side with the little arrow facing up toward you. That way it sits flat, okay? Little pro tip here. Next, we're about to install the arm. So what you wanna do is make sure this little arrow is faced right toward the end of this little notch. Just like that, not all the way um, parallel to the barrel. You don't want that just down at an angle. 
right by this little notch right here. Okay. And then this is your hop up arm. This presses down on your bucking and this is what gives you your hop up effect. You wanna make sure this isn't uh, bent or deformed in any way. And if it is a little bent and lots of use, straighten it out a little, make sure it's flat. Just like that because if this is bent one way or the other it will send your bbs off to one side and you don't want that so make sure you keep it nice so there's a little nub right here on the arm and that nub sits down into this slot on your hop-up wheel and then this nub here your hop-up nub sits down on top of the bucking so you just place it in there, place it on the bucking. And this is where it's helpful to have that nub tilted. You get that to fit in there like that. Now it's on and you take your, the other side of your hop-up unit. You should clean it, make sure there's no oils or anything. Generally, it should be fairly clean. And you place it down on top. Now, if your nub is too far over, you won't be able to get this down, but it should go down just like that. Then blue Loctite in each of these holes. Very important. You may might, you might strip your hop up unit and your screws if you do not do it properly. So please um, make sure that you're using Loctite to keep everything together. I like to start with the front screw but it doesn't matter too much. And just screw it in. Just like that. And you're obviously gonna have your little Loctite in there so you can uh, wipe any excess off with a cloth. Let's talk about the best hop-up units on the market. Right now, there's three main competitors, in my opinion. Uh, the first being the Tokyo Marie. The Tokyo Marie um, hop-up unit is quite good, but eventually it will break. And what will happen is this little bridge right here on the circle where your slide catch goes in will break. It will deform, crack, It'll break, send little pieces in your gun. And you don't want that. Um, so eventually, you can use your, your Murray hop-up unit just fine. It's really good. Um, that's great. The next competitor, the next step up, or in my opinion, a step down, is the Maple Leaf hop-up unit. It's It looks just like the Airsoft Masterpiece one. It's a gold color like this. But... The material is, in my experience, not good. It's too hard. It damages the. You, it can damage your frame. It can um, mess up and put scratches on your barrel. It can um, crack and send metal shards all into your gun. It is not more reliable than the Marui. It is basically if you lose your Marui and you don't want to pay for an airsoft masterpiece hop up unit, you can buy the Maple Leaf but it's not really an upgrade, even though it acts like it is. Um, it's more of a replacement part. It will also crack here. It's not that good, but it will suffice. Now, the highest level, of course, is the Airsoft Masterpiece Hop-Up Unit, which I have here. It's brass. It's a softer material. That's what you want. Um, the wheel has a finer range of adjustment. It's more sensitive. It locks in. Um, the arm... Is structured better to give you more hop uh, and the material is generally nice and strong they don't really crack down here as much it's pretty rare for that to happen and the screws shouldn't strip as long as you have Loctite in and some of the other ones even if you have Loctite in they slowly back out and strip I would check this Every time you disassemble your high cap I just take a screwdriver and just go to tighten it just a little and see if it's tight. Make sure it's tight. And that's how you know that will be good. Um, if you guys have any other questions about hop-up units, let me know. Um, 
would love to answer any questions about that. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.